one of the more common questions we get is around deals and how to specifically change what is considered to be the sales stage for a deal. Now this could get a little bit sticky beyond your standard just changing values because number one, there are various deal types. In this example, I'm on a landlord rep and the way the system is designed is that it tailors some specific sales stages based on the record type. So if you had a tenant rep or a seller rep, the values for sales stage may differ. On top of the fact that the sale stages will vary based on the record type is that you could reorder, relabel, rename, remove, or add values in the sale stage. And so to do that, you'll have to hop in the back if you're the admin and go to setup, go to the object manager to select deals. And the first stop is fields and relationships, and then either scrolling down or typing in sales stage up here to just get a shortcut to find it. Once it's been found, click on the sales stage link. Now, as you scroll below, you'll see the exhaustive and total list of all sales stages regardless of the type of deal you're working on and so I guess number one is you can delete or edit edit will basically allow you to rename that particular um, sales stage to something else if you needed to do that and that was easier for you so you could delete rename or add net new ones or even really reorder them um, and this is all important because this is where you're sort of controlling the master list, but not necessarily the list for the specific deal type that you want that to appear for. So once you've potentially added your net new ones or maybe reordered them, go to record types. And again, if we're dealing with landlord rep, then you'll go to landlord rep and find sales stage here. And there it is, and edit that. And here's where it would show you the specific sales stages for landlord rep. And so if I didn't want, let's say, need analysis, I could remove that. But if I did want, let's say, um, long list, then I could add that. Note that from here, you can't control the order of the uh, sequence that it appears in because that would really be done back at where we were before with fields and relationships and sales stage. So you might need to toggle a little bit back and forth to um, decide on the order of how those sales stages appear, right? So the reorder would, in this case, even though it's the master list, sort of work in a sequential fashion, if you will, and then allow you to potentially move some up or down. So hopefully this helps you decide how to configure or customize the sales stages um, for you and your business and your goals. Feel free to reach out with any questions on this front.